Whew. All right, load number two. At the campsite. Hope y'all are having fun while I'm out here sweating. <laughs> um, I've been looking forward to this. It's still hot today though. Well, it's going to be nice later on. This is uh, September 26th, Monday, uh, about, I don't know, 11, 30, 12 in the afternoon. Uh, just kind of getting everything to the campsite. So far, I've got everything here but the food. Pardon me while I swap the camera around here. Let me get y'all on the tripod. Which is right here. Whew. Why is that backwards? Yeah, it's spinning around. That's why. Okay. Figure that that away. I've got uh, on the second load. I've got everything here except for the food. Uh, later on this afternoon, around five or six o'clock this evening, I'll go do a security check on the, on the homestead, uh, on my place anyway. Uh, and then I will grab the food, whatever food I'm gonna be bringing. I will decide at that time what I'm gonna bring to cook in the morning for breakfast. Get this one done. Hot, y'all. They claim it's only supposed to be like 82 degrees today, but in the direct sun, with, you know, 40, 50 pounds on your back, you get hot pretty quick. That's why I'm wearing a white shirt. All right, dude. Let's put you up there. That is what I need right now. Damn my water. Mm. Uh. All right. Yeah. Start unloading everything right here. Put you up there. And after I get everything unloaded, damn, there's a slob right there. Uh, after I get everything unloaded, sorry y'all, I gotta pick up all these sticks and stuff and figure out where I'm gonna put the tent and uh, kind of get camp arrangement going on. the uh, Recon 5 minus 4 sleeping bag. <laughs> I'll probably sweat in it most of the night, but uh, it's it's kind of thick and cushiony. So I thought, you know, even if I just lay on it, you know, lay on top of it, there's a little extra cushion uh, between me and the ground. My dry bag, which has my sleeping clothes, my wool socks, my wool undies and all that stuff in it. In case I get really cold. Brought my boonie hat too hot to wear it right now but I did bring it probably will wear that in the morning or something uh, all right. enough yakking get to work additional water I also have a two liter clear soda bottle that's full of water Berkey water and it fell off somewhere between the house and here <laughs> so I'll pick it up on the way back uh, or when I go out the next time so uh, didn't really plan on doing any uh, water filtering or anything just kind of bringing water this time uh, anyhow we'll find it too later
figure this will be my overnighter. Pretty big. I'm camping. I'm having fun. Catch your tail. Yeah. All right. Let's get the old survival bag slash bug out bag slash get home bag. Right there. Found the bitch just wagging. Get it out of the way. I'll run it up in the woods over here. Maybe if I don't trip over that stob and kill myself for your entertainment purpose. want to get the stick cut especially where you're going to be putting your tent we got a nice let me bring it all over here so you can see all right come on hey pine cone All right, like there's the, the wood pile and the four-wheeler and me. I'm thinking uh, we got a nice big bushy grass area right here. I'm thinking that's where I'm gonna put the tent. At least that's what I'm thinking right now. Every little bit you can use to help you up off the ground, you know, I say do it. Especially when you're in your mid fifties. Ow, briars. Look out for briars and vines. Vines will trip you. You'll be laid on the ground before you even know what happened. More vines. Damn, that hurt. Ow! That son of a bitch got me. Mm. And the finger. work on this side a little bit uh, like I said I can't tell the sun shining I don't know how I am on the camera so y'all forgive my shoddy camera work let me say that so this is uh, part two load two whatever I'm gonna work on getting up sticks and the roots and the vines I'll come back at you when I get ready to set the tent up all right let me hit the button here, wherever it's at.